Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is David. And I'm Timmy Bowties. And today, we're using our time-traveling desk to go back to the beginning of history. Are you ready, Timmy? I'm ready, David. Initiating time jump in three, two, one. Whoa, David and Timmy, don't do it. Yeah, right, Joss, dudes. Stop before it's too late. Wait. Who are you guys? I'm Future David. And I'm Future Timmy. <laughs> We've come from the future to warn you about time travel. You did? How far in the future did you come from? Oh, uh, about 15 minutes. We just finished recording this episode of JTS. 15 minutes? That's it? But. You're dressed all weird and you talk funny. It doesn't even make sense. Dude, time travel episodes never make sense. Well, yeah, that makes sense. But what's so dangerous about time travel? That is a most excellent question, Timmy. Traveling through time will scramble your brain so you repeat things. That is most true, future Timmy. Also, time travel will scramble your brain so you repeat things. <laughs> that is an outstanding point, future David. But I just thought of something else. Time travel will scramble your brain so you repeat things. I'm glad you mentioned that, future Timmy, because that reminds me of a completely different problem. Time travel will scramble your brain so you repeat things. <laughs> How bodaciously accurate, future David. That makes me think of another problem. Time travel- Okay, okay, let me guess. It'll, It'll scramble, scramble your, your brain, brain so you repeat things. Why no, silly heads. Time travel will cause you to grow a second mouth on your forehead. Do you see them anywhere? No, I think the coast is clear. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is David. And I'm Timmy Bowties. And today, we will definitely not be time traveling to the beginning of history. That's for sure. On one hand, I'm really glad they, I mean, we came back to warn us. But on the other hand, that was really freaky. I don't want another mouth on my forehead. Yeah, me either. And now, what are we going to do? Our whole plan for this episode was to travel back in time so we could see how God worked throughout the beginning of history. And now what do we got? Nothing! Well, I wouldn't say we have nothing. You know, there is another way to see how God worked throughout the beginning of history. Uh, there is? Uh, what are the risks? Memory loss? No, it's the Bible. Oh, yeah, the Bible. Great idea, Timmy. Thanks, David. You see, when we read God's Word, the Bible, it's kind of like we're traveling back in time to see the story of God's love throughout history. Yeah, but without the risk of growing a second mouth on your forehead. Yeah, I think that goes without saying, but thanks for clarifying. You're welcome, Timmy. Here's what I think we should do, though. For the next five episodes, let's do an overview of the first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. A lot of times, when people talk about these five books together, they call them the Pentateuch, or the Book of Law, or the Torah. That's right. But other people refer to them as the five books of Moses. And that's because most people agree that Moses wrote all five of these books. So for today, let's look at the first book of the Bible. Here's how. In just a second, press pause in the video and open your Bible to the book of Genesis. When you're finished reading it, press play, and we'll see you oh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Timmy, the whole book of Genesis? That, that's 50 chapters. Oh, you think they should read Exodus too? Uh, no, that'll take like all week. You know what? I have an idea. Let's do a fast forward review of the book of Genesis so we can see some of the highlights of the whole book. Then we'll have them read just one short part of it. Oh yeah, 
That sounds like a better idea. Yeah, thanks, Timmy. Uh, okay, let's do this. In just a second, watch the fast-forward review of Genesis. Then, when it's over, press pause on the video and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play, and we'll see you back here. Welcome to the fast-forward review of the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. After only six days, he made everything, and it was very good. But his best creation was people. Adam and Eve were the first two people God made. They lived in a beautiful garden and had a perfect relationship with God. Until one day when the devil approached them as a sneaky snake and tempted them into sinning against God. Suddenly, God's world became not so perfect and was filled with sickness, death, and sadness. In fact, it got so bad, God had to flood the whole earth to wash clean and start over with Noah and his family. But even when the water dried up, sin continued. So God came up with another plan. He promised to give Abraham a special family of people called the Israelites. He told Abraham that one day his family would have as many people as the stars in the sky. That's a lot of people. He also promised to give them a land of their own. One of the Israelites in Abraham's family was named Joseph. His dad gave him a crazy awesome coat with a whole bunch of colors in it. In fact, it was a little bit too awesome. One day, his brothers got so jealous that they sold him to some people as a slave. Not cool, brothers. They did it to be mean, but God used it for good. With God's help, Joseph became a powerful ruler in Egypt. And when a famine hit, he saved his family and all of God's people by moving them to Egypt and giving them food. And that is God's story in the book of Genesis. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, you know, Timmy, there is something about the book of Genesis that is so amazing to me. In fact, it's kind of hard for me to even understand. What's that? Well, it's kind of hard to explain, but maybe it would be easier for me to show you. Show me? Yeah, with a tower building challenge. Nice. Yeah, it's super simple. Here's how it works. We're each going to use blocks to build the most beautiful tower we can. When time is up, I'll explain the next part of the challenge. You ready? I'm as ready as a Teddy eating spaghetti. Uh, as usual, Timmy, I don't know what that means. So let's set up and get going. All right, let's start building in three, two, one, go! <laughs> Look at that, we've got two beautiful towers. You've got a tower, I've got a tower, but like I said, that was only part one of the challenge. For part two, we have to use these mini catapults to try and destroy the other person's tower. We'll keep shooting at each other's tower until the buzzer goes off. What? No. My beautiful creation. Oh yeah, how's your teddy feel about eating spaghetti now? You know what, mister? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, my teddy and I are gonna destroy your tower. All right, let's see about that in three, two, one, go! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, go for it, don't you dare. Oh, don't you dare, don't you dare. Oh, yeah. Take oh, that. yeah. Take that, take that. Oh, miss, miss, miss. Oh! oh, oh, oh more. Slow down. That was a big one. Oh! Coming down, coming down. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. You just gave me more ammo, buddy. Oh, you just gave me more ammo. Fire. I have a gun. Oh! Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
The buzzer has gone Oops. off. Okay, let's look at the damage. My tower is almost completely gone. So is yours, but it looks like the base is still nicely stacked, although you are still helping it a little bit, little Mr. McCheater. <laughs> but I have to say... Say it. I. I think you Say win. It. I think you win, but just barely. <laughs> but just, just barely. Uh, All right, right. let's get this cleaned up and get back to things. Okay, now I have to admit, knocking those towers down was kind of fun, but have you ever built something really cool like that? I mean, like something you've been working on all day long. Yeah. Like something so amazing that when you look at it, your head almost explodes with joy. Right. Then all of a sudden, somebody like your little brother comes in and knocks the whole thing down. Yeah, that's totally happened to me before, and I was so mad. Yeah, me too. And that's what's so amazing about God. He created the entire world, and it was perfect until people wrecked it. But did he just get mad and stomp away? No way. Instead, God came up with a plan to fix the world and be with us again. In fact, that's what we read about in today's Bible story. In Genesis 12, 3, God said to Abraham, all nations on earth will be blessed because of you. And it was true. One day, many years later, Jesus, the savior of the world was born as a part of Abraham's family. Yeah, Jesus is the savior who took away the sin that separates us from God. That's what our Bible verse for today talks about. It says, nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. That's because of what Christ Jesus our Lord has done. Romans 8, 39. Hey, that makes me wonder something. What do you think that verse is talking about? What has Jesus done for us? Also, why do you think he did it? Press pause and discuss. Hey everybody, I hope you had some awesome discussions. Can you believe that God loves you so much that he would give up his own son just to have a friendship with you? Yeah, God loves you so much that he gave his one and only son, Jesus, to die on a cross for you. That's right. His death removed the sin that separates us from God so that anyone who believes in him will have forever life in heaven. And if there's one thing the book of Genesis shows us, it's that there's nothing in the world, not even sin, that can separate us from the love of God. So good. And so true. Hey kids, we had a blast hanging out with you today. Join us again next week when we take a look at the book of Exodus. Seriously, it's gonna be a blast. Until then, we love you guys and can't wait to do it again. Bye everybody. Bye. Oh, great. They're back. Most excellent David, I've come from the future to warn you. Whatever you do, don't eat that apple. Why not? Because I licked it. Uh, oh!